Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I've recorded a video or posted anything, um, but that's because I've been writing a lot. And also, I've got some other major life changes coming up. So I'm moving uh, in two weeks and then my girlfriend is moving up to go to med school. So uh, that's a lot of stuff happening over the course of the next two months, but it's all good stuff. Um, it's leading towards a lot of uh, free time on the bright side, so I'll be able to post more videos and do a lot more riding. Um, I haven't had much time lately to do a lot of gravel riding. I've been doing a lot of road rides, um, so that's been interesting. It's been a change. Uh, I'm not really a roadie, but I've been uh, taking the Poseidon out on some sea pace road rides, which has been a lot of fun. Um, but I want to start doing B pace, so that's not going to really be ideal for that. So I do have another build coming up these wheels are going to be kind of the centerpiece of that build so you guys will see what that is very soon but in the meantime um, i've been using these surly truck stop bars on the poseidon for a while and i don't know i just i haven't really been able to get used to the look there's a few other things that i don't really like about them um there's nothing like quality issues or anything like that but I don't really like the shape of the drops very much. I feel like it angles a little too much and the drop is a little, little far. Um, I like the 12 degree flare, but I think I'm gonna go back to the 24 degree Richie bars. So I'm gonna flip that stem upright and then put on some no rise bars, specifically these bars here. And I'm gonna try out that flare. One thing I don't like about the Advent X is there's this bump right here on the hood. And when you have, I mean, yeah, you can see it right there. When you have your hand, at least for me, it digs into my palm and it's been giving me like numb hands a lot. So I'm hoping that if I go back to the 24 degree flare, it'll angle this out more this way and then I'll have more surface area to rest my palm on, so it's not putting so much pressure there. And hopefully that will help with the numbness that I've been getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the bars off the bridge stone and put them on this bike.
I gotta say, the new bars were definitely an improvement over the truck stops. Um, they're obviously a lot more aggressive on the hoods, but I mean, this is supposed to be kind of like a race bike anyway, so it kind of works. That was not supposed to happen. I kind of wanted to talk about my opinion on the Poseidon X overall. Um, it wasn't a bike that I loved right off the bat. Um, I definitely grew to love it. Um, and as I did more modifications to it and got it set up the more the way I like it, um, I grew to love it more and more. And also, I didn't have much experience with drop bars before this bike. I had put together the Bridgestone and ridden that for a bit, but I had been very anti-drop for quite a while. So part of the reason I think that I didn't love it right away is that I just wasn't used to drop bars and wasn't used to the position. But over time, I've ridden a lot more and gotten used to the position and as I've done that I've grown to love the bike more and more so now I really like it now that I have it set up the way I like it it's good um, so it's a it's a great great platform it just took me a while to get to the point where I understood drop bar positioning enough to enjoy it just me or do these actually look pretty nice on this bike so maybe not death to riser bars 